Now, the purpose of this video is to show you the best mouse modifiers that you probably didn't know exist in Reaper, as they're mostly hidden. In other words, they're not assigned to anything by default. So what is a mouse modifier? Anytime we do anything in Reaper using our mouse, it's based on a mouse modifier. If we drag an item left or right, up or down, those are mouse modifiers. Or if we trim it from this side or this side, those are mouse modifiers. Or if we adjust the content within it, those are also mouse modifiers. Or if we click before or after or in the ruler, those are also mouse modifiers. So let's see how to customize our mouse modifiers. The quickest way to get there is using our actions. Hit the question mark, which opens up the actions window. And let's search in the filter mod pref. And right over here is an action that'll bring us right to the mouse modifier preferences. Double click it, and it shows up right here. You can get to this through our preferences, but you have to scroll down here to find the mouse modifiers. Using the action gets us here a bit quicker. So right over here is known as the context, the context of what we're doing with our mouse and where we're doing it. So if we start with the range view, with right drag, these are the things that are assigned to that movement. By default, it's gonna marquee select our items if we right drag. So if we right drag over here, it's gonna marquee select those items. Or if we add in Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, it's gonna create a razor edit. Like this. So all these behaviors are assigned by default, including this one that you might not know about called Marquee Zoom. Add in these modifiers, Control Alt on the PC, Command Option on the Mac, and right drag. We get this marquee zoom. We could select an area to zoom in to just that area. Let go, and it zooms just to the area we marquee selected. If we want to see these three tracks, do the same thing. Grab the area we want to see, and we just see those three tracks as big as our screen. So again, these are the behaviors we get by default without using any modifiers or with. But we could add other ones that we're not currently seeing that are hidden. So let's go down here and double click. And here we could see all the options we have. One of them you might want to use is right down here called Scrub Audio. If we choose this and use this modifier, let's zoom in pretty close. Right drag with that modifier. And we can scrub our audio. Or if we want to jog instead, we could switch it right here to jog audio. Do the same thing. And we can jog through our audio. But I should mention, by default, we can get that behavior up here. If I grab it and drag it, we can jog our audio, and this is known as the edit cursor handle. As far as its context, we can see by default, it's gonna jog, but if we add in control on the PC, command on the Mac, we could also scrub. So grab up here with that modifier to scrub the audio. We do it without the modifier to jog. Again, within this context, the edit cursor handle. So as you notice, to get through our contexts, instead of doing it through here, as you can see, there's a whole bunch, we could do it by hitting that context first and going right to it. So if I click on this media item, open up our preferences, it goes right to the media item context. And it starts off with left click. So let's check out this context. Notice I changed the default action. By default, it's gonna select our item and move the edit cursor. So if I click over here, it selects the item, but also moves the edit cursor where I placed it. Personally, I don't prefer that behavior. So I changed mine to just select the item and not move the edit cursor. 
So now I could select an item and it just selects that item without moving the edit cursor. If I want to move the edit cursor, I can click in the ruler or down here in the track and it moves the edit cursor. But if I just select the item, only the item is selected. And again, I change that over here. And these are the other behaviors that are set up by default. But let's check out some other hidden ones. Let's go down here and add. Right here, we could split our items without having to hit the S key. Let's choose just split. And now hold down that modifier. Let's zoom in a bit. And we could split our items just by clicking within the items. Hold on the modifier and click. And just like that, it creates splits in the items up here or here without having to hit the S key to trigger the split action. And we could also change it down over here to restore previous zoom or scroll, which is helpful if we use the action I showed you before to marquee zoom. Let's do that again to zoom on this whole section, let go. It zooms in on those three tracks. Now I could use that mouse modifier and click on my item and it goes back to the previous zoom level right over here. Or we could also use these options down here to adjust things within lanes. Let's say we choose to play only this lane. Let's create lanes for this track. And let's say we just want to play the first lane. Hold on the modifier and click right here. And just this lane is going to play. Whisper through the wall. Or this lane. Whisper through the wall. You want to see her again. You said something about tomorrow. So we could jump from lane to lane using the mouse modifier. And again, this behavior is hidden within the media item context. But we can choose it down here and assign it to any modifier we want. And we could also add any action we want. Double click and go down here and choose action list and just choose an action in here. Let's type in toggle solo item and choose item properties toggle solo. And it shows up here using this modifier. And now I can put my cursor on this item hold on the modifier and click, and it's going to solo that item. Hit it again to unsolo it, or this one, or this one. But notice, it also moves our cursor. If we don't want that behavior, just click this, and go down here and choose Do Not Move Edit Cursor. And now, if we do the same thing, click up here, so is the item, without moving the Edit Cursor. Hit it again to toggle that solo. Click here to solo this item. Click it again to unsolo it. So we could use any action we want in any one of these contexts we want. But let's put it back to the default, which is nothing by default. So that's left click media item. Now, because of the length of this video, I've cut it into three parts. Check out part two next. So that's pretty much it. That's the best mouse modifiers you didn't know about in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. It's Reaper Mania. It's Reaper Mania. Let's go.